Here we are with the tabletop. After wearing the roundhouse jeans for about a combined, I don't know, 10, 14 days, 10 to 14 days. Just alongside, again, my Carhartt's American Made. A lot of people are like, those aren't American Made. Well, yours might not be, but these are. You can actually find them. They're kind of tough to find, but it has a little uh, UFCW Carhartt Original Fit. Made in USA. And of course, Roundhouse sticks it right there on the outside tab. Made in USA. So, after a uh, four days, three nights camping, the video I just posted earlier, and after that, oil changes, yard work, running errands, a little bit of hiking out in the desert. I wanted to kind of give you a little update of the look and feel. I've only washed these once. It was one time when I took them out of the box, turned them inside out, uh, washed them, uh, cold water, cold rinse, and then I turned, uh, kept them inside out and hung them in the, over a chair, just to dry inside. In Arizona, we, we get things that it dries pretty quick. Even with your AC on, it's a dry uh, heat, it's a dry cool, so it dries out things pretty quick. So, again, have your double knees. Never really felt that I wear double knees with these. If you can look close enough, you can't really see the grain there. And um, like I said in my other video, these are really soft. And wearing them, it was not the same as wearing these brand new. These are, are pretty rough and they still feel, I don't know if it's a tighter weave. Who makes this for them? I don't know if it's the same company who actually mills the fabric, because a lot of the time it's not Roundhouse or Carhartt. They'll contract to an American company who will make rolls and rolls or bolts or whatever they call the fabric and send them to them. So you can have a side-by-side -side view of the, the fabric. Again, the, the outside triple stitching. But on the inside, you just have the single stitching, the inside stitch that goes up the crotch. There's no real wear on these. Uh, they do feel slimmer. Now, I don't know why I measured them, and they're the same width as the Carhartts. I measured from outside seam to the, to the crotch, about 12 inches. And the knee point was right about 9 inches. And right about the ankle, almost to the end, I measured that, that's almost eight and a half inches right there. But for some reason, these feel a little bit more, I guess, snug than the Carhartts. The Carhartts, almost like a tube, like straight down. And which I liked because I, it's almost like you can get ventilation from how heavy they are. They'll almost tent uh, when you're standing, when you're moving, and you'll just kind of get some ventilation up through your legs. Uh, these ones I kind of felt the same way but the fabric lies a lot different and it's kind of really hard to describe um, but out of the box, out of the bag, first washing I like these ones better. Um, again these are a year and a half old and there is no wear on them. I mean little wear. And I've used them pretty good. I've built fence in New Mexico on my friend's ranch. I've um, gone camping in these multiple times. I've done everything, hiking, changing the oil. And the only big thing that I see is uh, about ankle high or the boots. Maybe I just walk weird. And uh, they rub up against each other. And that's just a simple stitch. I have a sewing machine that you can just put on and stitch multiple times and the thread itself will kind of act as a patch. You won't even need to throw a patch on there. So so there's those two pants. Year and a half old pants versus uh, I don't know, a month old. So we'll see these in a year and a half, how they hold up compared to the Carhartts. But first, first impressions are I like them a lot. Standard zipper. 
standard coin pocket, which I really don't use. Put my Leatherman on my right hand side, and then I put my keys on this pocket on the left hand side. I normally wear my wallet up front, just a little fold wallet, and then I put my cell phone normally, but with these ones you can have the side cell phone pocket. And one thing that did amaze me is the comparison between the two. These pockets are literally the same as these pockets. Well, all the pockets are. They're almost an exact replica of each other. And like I said, the only difference is the brass rivets. Brass coated. They might be brass coated. I don't think they're solid brass. If you see there, they're kind of rubbing off. Uh, let's see if it focuses. But either way, some type of metal rivet and it really holds up. Some people don't like that because it'll rub up against their chairs or their other equipment and scratch it. I guess maybe you shouldn't be wearing heavy duty pants then. But the way that Roundhouse overcomes that, overcomes the rivet, is the, the stitch. I'll put a stitch there. Uh, they'll put a stitch here. There's a little bit better. I don't know if that's called a parachute stitch or if that's just a reinforced stitch on the back pocket. So, back pocket there. Reinforced stitch right there. So, longevity down the road. That might be an issue. I don't really see it being an issue. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to turn these inside out tonight. Wash them. We'll see how they fade compared to the car hearts. They're both pretty orange or red or brown, car heart brown, whatever you want to call them. They haven't really changed that much. When you turn them inside out, that helps with the fading. Most jean companies recommend you turn them inside out. And, um, and then I just hang dry. I've always hung dry these. I've always just let them out. They dry in a couple hours. Uh, so there are the two side by side, and these pair, after I don't know, two weeks of solid wear, it's been over maybe a month, maybe six weeks. Um, hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions or comments, stick them down below, and um, give Roundhouse a shout out. I'm not making any money for this. I just like the like the jeans. Comment, uh, like, subscribe. And share. Oh, one other thing I thought was interesting, was cool, was the uh, the honeycombing in the knee pit, the back of the knee. The hardcore selvage gene people really like that when that shows up. Just from your knee articulating and bending and sweat and everything else kind of gives you a really nice geometric design there. So they call it, I think it's called honeycombing. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next one.